Okay, a lot of times you'll hear growers talking about pH and maintaining pH or checking for pH. Uh, that's because it's very important to plants. Why does it impact plants so much? Well, this kind of graph right here is very important. So we're going to look at this in a little bit more detail. So again, why is it important to agriculture? Well, pH impacts nutrient availability. Some nutrients become unavailable to plants at low or high pH levels. So here's a soil range, an extreme soil range, with pH of 4 to pH of 10. And the thicker the bar is, the more available that nutrient is. Now here in this blue, this slightly acidic kind of column here, that's where we typically like to keep most pHs. Now notice if we kind of follow down this range, most nutrients are available in the greatest amounts, and this is why it's important to plants. So look at nitrogen, for example, here. As we get a pH kind of below 6, especially 5.5, its availability becomes much less. Same thing as if we get that pH soil above 8, nit the nitrogen in soil inherently becomes less available to plants. We see the opposite here um, with some nutrients that are more for acidic-loving plants. So, for example, uh, boron, very thick here, and to 5 still maintains very thick, and here if we're a pH 8 or above becomes a lot less available. Iron is kind of like the opposite triangle here, where once we get a below a pH of around, you know, around that 6.2 to 6 and lower, we see it's a maximum amount availability. Um, molybdenum is kind of the opposite, where it's more available at a basic range. So plants such as like blueberries that like that more acidic range, well they're um, liking the iron in particular and some copper and some of the metals here. So this is why pH is so important, because you can see over different ranges how these nutrients availability is greatly impacted. And here's how it kind of looks on a large scale, because uh, the pH can determine in amendments that need to be used. It can indicate if it's advantageous or necessary to adjust pH level. So sometimes, sometimes if there's like nutrient deficiencies or nutrient issues, one, it could be low amounts of that pres present in the soil, or it could be low amounts of that nutrient available to plants in that soil. So sometimes simply adding lime or sulfur to correct the pH can um, correct nutrient deficiencies because those nutrients that are already present in the soil become plant available.